Happiness is attained by three things, being patient when tested, being thankful when receiving a blessing, and being repentant upon sinning. A real man is one who fears the death of his heart, not of his body. When Allah tests you it is never to destroy you. When he removes something in your possession, it is only in order to empty your hands, for an even greater gift. This worldly life is like a shadow. If you try to catch it, you will never be able to do so. If you turn your back towards it, it has no choice but to follow you. A person's tongue can give you the taste of his heart. If a heart becomes attached to anything other than Allah, Allah makes him dependent on what he is attached to. And he will be betrayed by it. If you knew the true value of yourself, you will never allow yourself to be humiliated by committing sins. There are six stages to knowledge, firstly, asking questions in a good manner. Secondly, remaining quiet and listening attentively. Thirdly, understanding well. Fourthly, memorizing. Fifthly, teaching. Sixthly and it is its fruit, acting upon the knowledge and keeping to its limits. Had Allah lifted the veil for his slave, and shown him how he handles his affairs for him, and how Allah is more keen for the benefit of the slave than his own self, his heart would have melted out of the love for Allah, and would have been torn to pieces out of thankfulness to Allah. Therefore if the pains of this world tire you, do not grieve. For it may be that Allah wishes to hear your voice, by way of dua. So pour out your desires in prostration, and forget about it and know, that verily Allah does not forget it. Be sincere in your aim, and you will find the support of Allah surrounding you. Women are one half of society, which gives birth to the other half, so it is as if they are the entire society. Patience is, that the heart does not feel anger towards that which is destined, and that the mouth does not complain. Truly in the heart there is a void, that cannot be removed except with the company of Allah. And in it there is a sadness, that cannot be removed, except with the happiness of knowing Allah, and being true to Him. And in it there is an emptiness, that cannot be filled, except with love for Him, and by turning to Him, and always remembering Him. And if a person were given all of the world, and what is in it, it would not fill this emptiness. A slave stands in front of Allah on two occasions. The first during Salah, and secondly on the Day of Judgment. Whose over stands correctly in the first, the second standing will be made easier for him. And whosoever, disregards the first standing, the second standing will be extremely difficult. How strange! You lose a little from you and you cry. And your whole life is wasting and you're laughing. If you wish to check how much you love Allah, then see how much your heart loves the Qur'an, and you will know the answer. Beware of every hour and how it passes, and only spend it in the best possible way. Do not neglect yourself, but render it accustomed to the noblest and best of actions. And send to your grave that which will please you when you arrived at it. When Allah granted Prophet Yusuf, alayhis salam, physical beauty, it caused him to be locked up in the prison. But when Allah granted him knowledge, when he interpreted the dream of the king, it not only took him out of prison, but elevated his rank in society, clearly showing us the virtue of knowledge, and that physical beauty does not mean anything. When there is money in your hand, and not in your heart, it will not harm you, even if it is a lot. And when it is in your heart, it will harm you even if there is none in your hands. As long as you are performing prayer, you are knocking at the door of Allah. And whoever is knocking at the door of Allah, Allah will open it for him. Speech remains as a slave to you, but the moment it leaves your mouth, you become its slave. Be to Allah as he wishes, and he will be to you more, than you can wish for. Sitting with the poor and less fortunate people, removes the ego and pride from your heart. 
he who keeps his heart near God, will find peace and tranquility, whilst he who gives his heart to the people, will find restlessness and apprehension. There is no joy for someone who has no sorrow. There is no pleasure for the one who has no patience. No bliss for someone with no misery, and no rest for the one with no fatigue. When someone is a little tired, he has long rest. When he endures the difficulty of steadfastness for a time, that leads him to eternal life. All that the people of eternal bliss, are in his steadfastness for a time. Thank you for watching. Please consider to like and subscribe, if you find this video give you benefits and might enlighten you in some way.